Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a reveal and a first impressions video for you on a Louis Vuitton piece that I just picked up. Now first I want to say that I do not ever just impulsively go out and buy something that's expensive. I like to budget for it, I like to plan for it, I usually will research it extensively by watching YouTube videos or reading reviews online. Um, however, this was one of those times when it's kind of like you have to decide either I buy it or I risk not having it, like at all. So here's a little backstory on how I got this particular piece and why. And if you don't want to hear this, then I will put down in the information bar below where you can forward to in the video um, to just get straight to the reveal and first impressions. So my very first Louis Vuitton piece was going to be a mini pochette. So yes, this is what I am doing my reveal on and my first impressions. So before I ever even bought my Neverfull, I was going to initially purchase a pochette, a mini pochette. I thought this was the perfect starter piece um, to see if you really like the item. Uh, I mean, not the item, the brand. See if you really like the brand. Um, this is one of the less expensive items for Louis Vuitton. Now, not to say that it's not expensive still, because it is still expensive for what it is. I mean, this is just a small pochette. I mean, like, this is the pochette in comparison to the size of my head. Like, it's, it's small. But it gives you a good idea because it's still large enough. It's not like a wallet or a card holder. It's, you know, you can utilize this as a little bag if you wanted to. So it's large enough that you can appreciate the value and the quality of the brand and, you know, be able to decide if you want to, you know, move forward and get other pieces in Louis Vuitton's collection. So I had gone to the Louis Vuitton store looking for this particular piece. And if you know anything about Louis Vuitton, which I really didn't know much about it back then, then you'll know these are very, very hard to acquire. You're always on a waiting list for it. They're never available online. <clears throat> so when I went, they told me, no, you know, there's a wait list for that. We can add you to the waiting list. So they added me to the waiting list. And, you know, I kind of waited for a little while. And then, um, then I visited the Louis Vuitton in Saks and, you know, just popped in to see if they had one because sometimes they'll randomly have a piece. So I asked and she said no. So she added me to the wait list also because I thought, okay, well, that's only going to increase my chances of getting one if I'm on several wait lists. So client services also added me to the wait list for this particular item because, okay, that should tell you how badly I wanted to get this little mini pochette. So I got a phone call from the Saks Fifth Avenue at the Galleria in Houston, and they said that they had one in. So as many of you may already know, once they call you to let you know an item is in that you have been waitlisted for, you have about 48 hours max to go pick it up or they just put it as part of their inventory and they'll sell it. So I was like, okay, I'll be there tomorrow to come get it. So I get there and she goes in the back and I'm so excited. She goes in the back and she pulls the item out and shows it to me and it's the Damier Azor print. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, that's not the one I was on the wait list for. I said I was put on the wait list for the monogram print. So, you know, she apologized. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, we put you down for the Dame Azor. So needless to say, they had received a monogram, but did not call me because they thought I wanted the Dame Azor, and they sold the monogram one to someone else. So she was like, well, do you want to go ahead and still buy it? Because, you know, they are hard to get a hold of, and I can't tell you when we're going to get another one in. So she kind of made me feel frantic, and so I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just get that one. So I bought it, and I had just gotten to the mall. So I just arrived. So I was going to shop around a little bit, and then I was going to go home. So the whole time I'm at the mall, in the back of my head, I'm just thinking, oh, 
I'm so bummed that I didn't get the print I wanted because I really didn't plan on ever purchasing more than just one of these. Um, I don't see the need to have several. I just don't. So the more I thought about it, uh, kind of the more annoyed I got. And I was just like, okay, I clearly told them what I wanted. They sold it to someone else because they had me down for the wrong piece. So I decided I'm going to return it. I don't, I don't want this one. I'm not going to settle for something I don't want. So I brought it back and I'm not going to lie. The girl had an attitude from hell about it. Like she was so pissed off that I brought that little mini pochette back, but I was kind of like, well, it was your screw up in the first place because you put me down for the wrong piece. And you know, after I've, thought about it, I'm not going to settle for something I don't want, especially when you're paying a lot of money for something. So I returned it, you know, regardless of her crappy attitude, and um, she didn't even offer to put me back on the wait list, so, but that's okay because I didn't plan on going back to that Louis Vuitton anyway, but um, so I still was on the wait list at the main store at the Galleria and for client services. Well, in the meantime, I had purchased a Neverfull, and uh, the one that I ended up with, I purchased from the Louis Vuitton at the Domain in Austin. If you are near there, that is a Louis Vuitton I highly recommend you shop at because they are all phenomenal at that location. They're so, so nice. They're so helpful. They never rush you. They're just, they're, they're so gracious, and that will be my forever Louis Vuitton store from here on out for all my pieces. And if they don't have it, then I'll wait until they do have it because I just don't have time to deal with snotty people, especially when I'm spending my hard earned money in their store. So yeah, if you're near the Austin location, I suggest you go to that one because they're amazing. They're so sweet. And so anyway, so while I was there, um, they, uh, I had purchased you know, my, hand, my handbag and I purchased a wallet there. And then I also was put on the wait list at that location for this particular pochette. Well, guess who pulled through for me? It wasn't the other two places. It was the Austin Domain location. Again, they're awesome. So she called me up and she told me, hey, we have your mini pochette in. Um, do you want to come get it? Well, I wasn't in a position to show up within the 48 hours and that is what you are supposed to show up within you know or they don't hold it for you well she was so sweet um, she was able to hold it for me for you know longer than the 48 hour period because I don't live in Austin I live a couple of hours outside of Austin so um, you know and it was during the week so there's no way I could have gone you know like after work so finally I was able to go pick this little baby up and I was so excited, so happy. Um, it's just a beauty. Like, it's so perfect. It's made with three pieces of canvas. So it has this front piece. It has the side piece. And it has the back piece. So since it's made with three separate pieces, um, the monogram is going to be right side up on both sides. And around the edges, you're not going to see any of the LV you will just see the little um, fleur de leaves. It's just beautiful. I love how the gold chain is diamond cut, so it glistens in the light. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It has a little D-ring right here, and it is non-removable on this end. But on this end, it has the little lobster claw, and the lobster claw has the LV engraved on both sides of it. And you can remove it from this end and put it on this end and use it as a little wristlet if you would like. I don't know, it's very pretty this way as well because you can just hold it as like a little clutch. And then this is so pretty, it just looks like a little piece of jewelry on your arm. It's gorgeous. I love it so much. So this little bag is perfect for using as a catch-all inside your purse or for a night out. This is um, small but mighty. So don't let the small size fool you because it can fit a ton of stuff in it. 
Um, let me show you what I have in here so far. Okay, I'm going to switch this back because I like it like a little handbag. It's so precious. Okay. Also, before I forget, um, it has LV on the little zipper pull. Can you see that? There you go. LV. It's on both sides. And, oh, and another thing that is just so awesome is this piece was actually made in France. I'm so excited that it was made in France because this is one of the little pieces that I was just really so excited about acquiring. And the only other piece that I have that's made in France is my small cosmetic pouch. And uh, then the others were made in the USA and in Spain. Um, it doesn't really matter to me if it wasn't made in France. It wasn't going to, you know, make me love it any less or, you know, I wasn't going to say, oh, never mind, I don't want it because I feel like all of the pieces are made with the same quality control. I mean, there have been pieces that have been um, great pieces that come out of the USA. There have been pieces that have been bad pieces that came out of France, you know, like with glazing problems. I mean, you're going to have problems with um, with pieces, you know, uh, every now and then, no matter where they came from, because they're made by hand. So, you know, it's not like it being made in France is going to ensure that it's made better because that's really, that's not the case. But it was just exciting to me because the brand did derive in France. And um, so it's just nice to have one that's made in France because I feel like it is kind of a part of its history. So yeah, so this piece was made in France. So I wanted to go ahead and quickly show you what I use mine for. Um, it holds a lot. Right now, I'm using it kind of as like a little um, medicinal pouch slash catch-all in my bag. Um, and you can see it has that buttery smooth zipper. Hear that? Listen. So nice. Louis Vuitton has the most amazing zippers. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I have a bunch of stuff in here right now. Like I said, it holds a lot more than you would think it would hold. So... I have, let's see, my Altoids, I have my little pill case, I have more medication for like stomach pain, I have four panty liners, I have a shout wipe, I have a stick of gum. I don't like to carry gum in my bags. Um, I don't like for my purse to smell like gum. And this one's minty. So uh, I usually will just take a few pieces out of my pack and stick it in one of my little pouches. I have another stick of gum. I have a little lighter. You never know when you're gonna need a lighter. I have a tampon. I have another tampon. I have, okay, so I have this little bottle in here. This is filled with poopery. And the reason that I swapped it over into this bottle is because this to me is just more discreet and it's also smaller. So it fits so easily in this bag. So I switched it over to this little bottle. I mean, nobody's gotta know my business. And then I have some fingernail clippers. These are just my little Isaac Mizrahi clippers. I have a little pocket knife. Never know when you're going to need one of those either. I have some allergy medicine. Okay, am I the only one who's suffering from, from like severe allergies right now? I'm dying. Like You can't see it as badly right now, but my eyes are so puffy underneath from my allergies acting up. I'm supposed to be on allergy shots, but I don't have time for that. I have a little charm. This is a rune stone, and this one is the symbol Ur, and it represents strength. So I just like to carry that around with me. Um, I don't know. I'm funny like that. And then I have the key to my little safety deposit box. 
that I keep here in my house. It's like a little safe, uh, it's a safe, but it's not a big one. It's just like one of the, the drawers. Okay, and that is everything that was inside of this bag. Let me see if I can get a nice view of the inside with the light showing on it. Right here is the date code, this little tag right there. That's your date code. Very roomy inside. So even with all of that stuff in there, you can still make this your little night out bag. Like if you're going to the club or if you're going out on date night, I feel like because it has this beautiful little gold chain on it, it can be dressy or casual. So I'm gonna put all of these things back inside and then I'm going to show you how, even with all of these things on the inside of this little bag, you can still add a couple of your essentials so that you can use it as a little night clutch. Pop all this stuff back in there quickly. Okay, so my key, my room stone. Okay, so that is everything back inside this little pouch. Like I said, it holds quite a bit. And as you can see, you can still add more stuff in here. Like there's still more room at the top and like here on the side, there's still more room. But I don't want to overstuff it. So if you want to use this for a little clutch for a night out on the town, you can easily add a card case. This is a card case that I have from Fossil. It's so cute. It holds four cards. Um, one there, one there, one there, and one on the back. It's not so good. And it's very soft, buttery leather, and it just has a cute little monkey and a donut. Is that a monkey or is it a robot monkey? I don't know what that is. Anyway, and a little donut on it. So you can easily just pop this inside of there. As you can see, I just slid it right there. And it still can fit more stuff. And then you can put, like, maybe your lipstick that you're wearing that night. I don't know about you. When I'm just going somewhere for the day or if I'm going out for the night and I just want a little small clutch, I don't carry my full face of makeup with me. Rarely do I do that anyway, but when I put my makeup on in the morning, it stays on all day. Usually I'll only have to carry like blotting papers with me because my face gets hella oily and like it's horrible. So anyway, but you usually I'll just put my um, lipstick in there, but you can, you know, you can use this as, you know, a bag to carry like your makeup in if you wanted. So I'm just going to pop that little lipstick in on top there and then let's see how it closes. Yep, fits. That's looking a little bulky. Let me rearrange some stuff. Okay, let me put the lid back on this. Came off. Okay, maybe this way will be better. Or maybe not. There we go. I knew it all fit in there because I already tried it. So this is what it looks like. It's not bulging at all. Looks great. And the zipper is nice and straight. It's not all wavy and crooked and putting stress on it. In these little bags, you'll find that in any small bag, it's really just how you arrange things. So, um, you know, if you're going to just throw things in there, then you're obviously going to be able to fit a lot less. But if you organize things in there and place them in there neatly, then you'll get a lot more use out of your bag and you'll be able to fit a lot more stuff in there. Um, so, yeah. So then all you have to do is you just have, you know, you have your little bag, you have your phone, and you're good to go. Yeah. So cute. Now, unfortunately, I have the 8 Plus iPhone, and this bag is nowhere near large enough to fit this big ass phone. Look, the phone is way longer than the bag is. Like, look. Yeah, 
that's that would never fit. But if you have a phone that is just like an, a 5S or a, I've even seen the 6S fit in here. So you can fit your phone if you don't have, um, you know, a phablet like I do. But this is not going to fit in here because it's, it's too big. But this is so small and, and light and compact that, you know, it's not difficult at all to just have this on your hand and you can still hold your phone and you're good to go. I know a lot of you put your phones in your back pockets. Um, I'm not a big back pocket person, but you know, you can still have this on your arm and carry your phone and you're still completely hands-free. Most of us have our phones in our hand most of the time anyway. Um, I normally don't. I'm one of the few who, uh, I keep my phone in my bag if I'm not using it, but if I'm carrying this small little clutch, then obviously I'm gonna have it in my hand or it's gonna be in my pocket. So, yeah. So this has been my reveal and first impressions. Um, again, my first impression of this is that I absolutely love and adore it. I will try to do a wear and tear video on this um, after I've used it for quite a while. Um, I'm not going to do a one month review on this probably because, um, I don't know, I just feel like on I don't know, maybe I will, it just depends. Let me know what you guys want down below and I'll just accommodate you. It doesn't matter to me. If you want a one month review, I'll do one. But I was thinking about maybe doing one like after six months or a year of using it. Um, and then, you know, maybe after I've used it for a night out, letting you know how that worked out for me. So anyway, this has been my reveal and first impressions of the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I think it's a great piece um, if you are trying to decide if Louis Vuitton is your bag. Uh, let me give you some measurements on it really quick because I did not do that. Okay, so pardon my little ratty trusty ruler here. Okay, so it is five and a half inches long. It is three and a half inches high, and it is exactly one inch in depth. So that is how big the dimensions are of the actual bag itself. The strap drop is, let's see, it has about an almost six inch strap drop. So that's a pretty good strap drop. I mean, if you have skinny arms, you can probably put it on your shoulder. Like, I can put it on my shoulder. It fits. Now, would I wear it like this? Probably not. But, you know, I guess you could. Plus, this sweater is a little bulky. So, if I didn't have on this sweater, it might fit a little better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you could even put it on your sh on your shoulder if you wanted to. So... And um, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but this is one of the less expensive Louis Vuitton pieces, which is another reason why I recommend doing one of these as a starter piece because you can use it for so many different things. You can use it as your wallet. You can use it as a little catch-all. You can use it as a little tiny clutch. Um, this one, I believe, is $310 currently on the website. Um, if you want one, you're going to probably have to be put on a wait list for it because, uh, you know, as you might have already heard at the beginning of my video, if you didn't forward through it, um, nobody has just, you know, availability of this bag. You can't just walk into a store and say, hey, I'd like to get the mini pochette, because most of the time they're on back order, and uh, the website almost always says call for availability, especially for the monogram and the Damier Aben pieces. Um, the Damier Aben one is also beautiful. I was really kind of torn about which one I wanted to get, but I really wanted to get the classic monogram in this one because, I don't know, I just feel like there's something about this particular little bag and monogram. But the Damier Aben one is stunning. When you open it up, it has that beautiful pop of red color on the inside. So I was a little bit torn about, you know, whether or not I wanted to maybe get that one instead, especially since my bag is a Damier Aben print. But, um, I decided to go ahead and go with the monogram, and I'm glad I did because, like I said, 
Um, I'm going to be purchasing a monogram bag in the next, you know, couple of weeks or so. And so, you know, this will save me from wanting to buy a monogram wallet. <laughs> so I'll just use this as my wallet if, you know, if I want something that's matchy-matchy. If not, then I'm probably just going to continue to use my Kaisa wallet. And that way I can have this in there as a catch-all still. But anyway, I hope this review was helpful for you. Helpful for you. Um, it wasn't really much of a review because, like I said, I've only had the, uh, the item for a couple of days. So it's still very, very, very new. Um, but if you are on uh, the lookout for one of these or in the market to purchase one, you can buy them on the pre-loved market. However, they have marked them up significantly. Like they're selling them for more than what the website sells them for. And they're only doing that because they know the availability of these is limited. And they know some people don't want to wait. And so they're selling them for like over $400, which I think is ridiculous, especially when they're still available to you from Louis Vuitton. They're just, you know, they're just kind of difficult to get your hands on right now, but I would rather wait than pay more money for something than I have to. So anyway, so I think she's a beauty. I am so, so, so excited that I got her. I just absolutely can't wait. And if I do uh, start using her as a wallet, I will do a video on that to show you how I use it as a wallet when I get my new bag. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please also comment down below. And please also subscribe to my channel because I love when I get the notifications that I got new subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.